So we are here out at the Beth Page golf course. Played the red of course before. We're on the blue today with a buddy of mine, stockbroker out in Massapequa, New York. Good friend of mine, long time no see, brother. How's it going? Yes, sir. I'm doing good, man. How about you? Doing good. We're making moves. Young business professionals out here playing golf, enjoying the day. So let's take a ride. All right. Little par three. Got the three wood out. We are on hole three here. Had a chance to warm up a little bit. Shake the cobwebs off. Austin hasn't played in a minute. <laughs> Me neither. I was at the Heights Country Club in San Diego last week. Here with my buddy in Massapequa at Beth Page. Come left. Ah, oh, I'm in the bunker. We're Sandy in New York. <laughs> Going up to the second shot here. So Austin, are you seeing, you know, uh, indications in the financial market of people spending less money and people possibly investing less? Or what, what are you seeing currently in the market? We don't think this is a good time to invest. As when people are spec uh, skeptical in markets, they say that that's when there's opportunity. So when people are scared, they're scared money, people are being told not to invest. There's actually deals being done every day of the week. That's a great point. So let's continue the hold. Yeah, I and mean, there's an old saying people say, um, when people are being greedy, uh, be fearful. And when people are being fearful, you be greedy. Absolutely. So, so long, uh, long time saying. So it's good to follow in other footsteps yeah. of individuals that are making predictions of what's going to happen possibly or making analysis of current financial markets. Oh, come on. <laughs> Walking down by the green. It's definitely a nice change in weather coming from Arizona. Got my beanie on over here. Arizona was like 80 degrees the other day. It's probably the lighter side of 40. So like in San Diego, Cooper's over here. Let's see if I can do a little out of this lip. I'm actually out. Oh, that was good. At least I'm out. <laughs> a little short of the green, but that's okay. Thank you. Short of the green here. Take a little chip shot. Hey, chat. Kick out. See if we can. Ooh, tough. Sheesh. See if we can make a putt from here. For bogey, bogey golf players here. <laughs> I'm gonna lie, golf. Oh, I'm gonna Finish that off for double bogey. That's okay. Bogey golf is not bad golf. Was talking with my buddies. On to the fourth hole here, second hole in our little journey. My buddy Austin, like I said, he's actually got a trucking company as well. It's operating, so small business, operating transportation and in the financial market here in the country. Has interest rates kind of 
uh, had an effect at all on the conversations that you're having with investors at all? Are they bringing that up as far as investing in stocks? Obviously in real estate, that would have major effect, but it's of curiosity as it translates over to stocks. Um, a little bit. I think people are a little bit more hesitant because, you know, less spending and stuff like that. But so there's like more speculation. Yeah, it just all depends on your um, circumstance. But. Absolutely. Well, yeah, that's a good little take. Uh, you know, as it, it, money gets a more expensive to acquire, you would think that it would slow down. But that's good to know that there's still people out there making plays, depending on what avenue you're wanting to invest in, what sector. We've talked about different as asset classes and sectors of uh, potential stocks. Uh, he happens to be my stockbroker. Uh, so, you know, a good friend of mine out here in Massapequa will head off to the, the second hole of our little video here. So yeah, as in, in investments, you know, it's good to diversify with stocks, real estate. I do personal property, manufactured homes. You gotta spread it out because ultimately with market speculation and pressure, you no one has a crystal ball of which way something's gonna go at the end of the day. So diversify. Right, Austin? That's the name of the game. Absolutely. It's a little par five. See if I can hit the driver straight again. Gotta be prepared. Eddie. Come left. Stay left. Nice hit. So we're both in the same spot over there. That's okay. Cart Brothers. I see your bull. All right, third shot here. Got about 125 yards, little bump and run pitching wedge. Had to get the camera aligned. It's <laughs> Little bump and run. Try to keep her low. Like I've been doing all day. Maybe not a nice and run, but that'll work. Run up there. More. What'd you use? Go home. What'd you use? Uh, pitching wedge. So, you know, like I said, I'm out here in Massapequa. It's good to get an ache on other people's temperature gauges on the financial market, from crypto to mortgage lending to stocks, residential wow. real estate, manufactured housing, multifamily, you name it. I'm out here educating myself across the country and across the world to try and find the best strategies as well as analyze the current financial market and what other people have to say about what's going on, things that may be affected in the next available opportunity. That's why I'm out here today, actually networking, playing some golf, we'll be shooting a podcast with uh, a couple of other individuals, some crypto mortgages, uh, stocks, the whole thing caboodle. So now we're at Beth's Safe, <laughs> blue course, beautiful day, sunny, a little bit cold, but that's okay. Go with the Texas wedge off here. Gloves on because it's cold. Really was the wrong move. In the camera, fell. that's okay. So again, we're here in New York with my buddy, the stockbroker. And I have one last question for you. And with everything that's going on in the world and wars and all kinds of stuff, are you seeing pressure in the stock market as far as big liquidity of big companies making moves and things of that nature? Is there a lot going on? Are people kind of sitting on their hands? Kind of what are you seeing a little bit? Is there more pressure or opportunity? Um, I think there's, when there's pressure, it means there's opportunity. 
I do think that people definitely were sitting on their hands for a little bit when the war first started. Um, as messed up as it may sound, I think people are kind of back to normal. Um, I do think when interest rates are high though, um, you know, there's an old saying when interest rates are high, stocks are low. So like I said, at this point in time, I do think it is a good opportunity. And yeah. So yeah, a lot of going on in the market. It's good to uh, see across multiple asset classes and strategies and talk with different people in the industry to see what big money is doing out here in the financial market. So hey, Austin, appreciate you having me out here today at Beth Page playing golf today with a good buddy of mine and strategizing about financial analysis and what's going on in the current financial market. Appreciate you having me. No problem.